Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I'm going to be showing watercolouring on dark cardstock using some of the elements from the Simon Says Stamp April card kit. And I'm starting off by dry embossing the Rain Boot Planter die into a card base that I've made from the dark chocolate cardstock. So I just showed very quickly how I lined it up and I ran it through my Big Shot with the brown embossing mat or tan embossing mat so that I would get an impression into my cardstock and I'm using that as the guidelines for my painting. For the painting I am using the Gansai Tanbi Starry Colours set and I'm starting off by painting the boots themselves with the white gold which is number 906 of the, of the paints. So I will start with the main portion of that front boot and then because I want to make sure it's not going to bleed I'm going to do the cuff of the backmost boot and I'm putting my paint so that the colouring is heaviest on the side that the light is coming from. In this case I have done my lights coming from the left hand side so in a way in front of the boot the way they're pointing. Normally I do my light source on the right hand side but because of the composition of the image I thought it would work better this way around. And then for the flowers whilst the white gold is drying I will go in and paint the flowers and for them I am using red gold which is number 902 and again I'm laying the colour to the left hand side and then I will fade it out towards the right hand side and I do have a little pot of water off to the side just out of screen for when I need to wet my brush and I'm using the embossed lines as a guideline for where the lights and shadows should be so I know where I am painting. Some of them are not so easy to see on screen but I could see them well enough as I was working on the painting. This card is actually somewhat inspired by a card I made previously with the I think it was October kids from last year. I created a floral card with the same colour palette on dark cardstock. I believe I used black that time and this time as I said I'm using brown but either way the metallics look really good on dark cardstock and I thought I'd have another go of doing it because that is one of my more popular cards that I have made and I just really enjoyed the technique that's why I thought I'd have a go at that again and I will link to the video if you'd like to check that one out there will be a link for that up in the top right hand corner. Obviously this cardstock is not watercolour cardstock. I don't believe you can get watercolour cardstock in colours, I could be wrong. If you're aware of any feel free to drop me a comment below. So I'm just having to be very careful with the amount of water I use because if I use too much water or go over it too much it will pill and kind of ruin the surface of the card and not look as good. So I'm being very careful with that. And I will just keep working at the flowers until I am happy with them. I felt like there was a bit too much paint in some places so I just went in with some clean water and then dabbed it up with a tissue just to add some of those shadows back in and give a bit more definition to the flowers and the petals. Then I'm going to paint the cuff of the other boots now that now that the rest of the white gold that I'd already done has dried there is no longer a risk of them running together. I'm not an expert at watercolouring. I do have a tendency to end up with my colours running together because I'm not patient enough with working on the different sections so it was good to do the flowers whilst I waited for those sections of the boots to dry because that gave me something to do in between so that I didn't have to be patient and waiting. I think I struggle most when there's nothing I can do whilst I'm waiting and either I'd have to go and find something else to do or just sit and wait and generally I like to try and do my cards in one sitting so I don't like having to go and find something else to do whilst I wait for it to dry. And I did go back over the main part of the boot again because I wasn't entirely happy with the blend, it was a little bit streaky. Then I'm going to do the leaves and stems of the flowers and for this I am using the blue gold which is number 901. And this just has a bit of a different tone from the gold I used on the flowers so it differentiates them. I was kind of thinking like I was imagining the, I believe the flowers are tulips, I was imagining that they're red which is why I used the red gold for those. So then I was thinking of a greener colour for the leaves and the stems and I thought the blue gold was kind of close to green because it's blue. 
does that make any sense? I don't think that makes sense, but that was that was my logic, if it was logical at all. Um, so again, putting the color onto the left-hand side of each element, paying attention to where they overlap with each other so that I can take into account where the shadows and highlights would be. And I'm laying in that color first, and then I will go back in with a damp brush to spread it out a bit and pull the color along to the shadow areas where it will be darker. When I did the floral card before, I actually did the color the wrong way around. I put the color into the shadow areas and then pulled it out to where I had intended my highlight areas to be. So the highlights were black and the shadows were gold. It wasn't really what I should have done, but I think in that case, because it was flowers, it was a bit more forgiving. Flowers do tend to be quite forgiving because they have so many rolls and folds and, and everything like that. It's, it's very, I guess, open to interpretation of where the shadows can be. And in any case, I think being not so realistic because obviously you don't get gold flowers in real life. I think it's because it's like more abstract. I think it's easier to allow those mistakes um, without them looking unrealistic. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I think I'm rambling. Um, having completed the boots and the flowers and stems and leaves, all that's left to do is the soles of the boots. And I decided to bring in another color here. So I'm using the light gold, which is number 905. I did for a little while think about whether I should paint the boots one of the other shades of gold because I wasn't sure if the white gold was too white. I felt like maybe maybe it was too silvery and maybe I should tie it in with the other colours more. So I played with the idea of using the yellow gold or the champagne gold for those but in the end I decided to leave them as the white gold and I think maybe it works because it differentiates them from the flowers and everything a bit more. Let me know what you think about that. Should I have done them more yellowy or do you think the silvery white gold works well for them? I'm going in again and picking up some more colour from the flowers to add a little bit more definition to them because I felt they were lacking it a little. And then I also neatened up around the leaves and did the same thing, adding some more of those shadow areas and picking up the colour where necessary. I did actually miss a bit behind the frontmost boot where the white gold had kind of gone over the edge very slightly. I didn't notice that until I was editing the photographs, so hopefully that means the recipient won't notice it. It's only a very small mistake and it's a handmade card and mistakes happen with handmade cards, so I'll try not to worry about it too much. I can be a bit of a perfectionist though and I can get quite frustrated when I notice mistakes on my projects, but I will do my best to ignore that. So then I'm going in and adding some grounding with the champagne gold and I want this to be really subtle. So I sprayed quite a lot of water into that and I'm just using a very, very watered down version of the champagne gold and spreading it out and fading it out to the brown of the background colour and I then left it to dry uh, or actually like I said I'm quite impatient so rather than leaving it to dry I actually sped it up with my heat gun. I then placed the card base into my misty and used my anti-static powder tool on it and then stamped a sentiment from the Hello Darling stamp set that came in the kit and coated it with WOW gold embossing powder, I think it's a rich gold embossing powder, and heat set it. And that completes my card. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it perhaps. It was really fun to do this and I think it's a great way to use your dies when you don't want to just cut with them. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you'd press the thumbs up button and if you didn't, then the thumbs down button is right next to it. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you have tried this technique of watercoloring on dark cardstock and maybe which of the cards you prefer. Do you like this one or do you like the one I had made previously more? If you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you could subscribe. There's a button on screen you can press for that. I do have one more video planned with the April card kit, so stay tuned for that coming hopefully this week. There are a couple of other videos on screen now if you'd like to see more from me right away. Otherwise, I will thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!